This is my Ferrari 458 Speciale, and to be honest, it isn't actually a car. What it is, is a fix. It's a sort of legal high. We're going out for a drive just for the fun of it. We live in an age where cars are getting ever safer, more efficient, more sophisticated, easier to drive, and that's brilliant. I welcome that when it comes to the business of getting from one place to another. But that's not what today's about. Today is about fun. All I can say is, Hammond and Fenner have brought something pretty interesting for our special day out. It had to be Oliver, because I want a trundle, I want a car that makes me smile. That's what this car does, because what I'm driving is a little yellow bucket of memories. There are certain machines that connect with your viscera, your synapses even, in such a way that they're like an extension of your being. This gear lever is about three feet long, and the throw from third gear to fourth, which is the top in this, is about 12 feet. Great! 56 years ago, the intention was for this car to lead a very boring life. But it didn't. It romped around Johannesburg for a few decades, and then I drove it across the spine of Africa. Hello, May. What have you brought, then? Made it better be something good. Um, I brought something a bit special for this. It's one of a kind. I would imagine it's his E-Type, because he knows I want to buy it off him. Is yours um, made in the Midlands of England? No. He thinks it's my Jaguar. Has it got a V8 motor? No, nope, not the Mustang. I don't think he's going to guess. I've got windscreen wiper difficulties. Hold on. And I can't now stop them in the right place. Come on now, stop. There! Oh, no, that's not right. Oliver, behave! Come on! Lovely. Look who it is. Funny. What? Really funny. It's not funny. This is Oliver. Can I put the posh fuel in? It's Oliver. It's Oliver. What? Oh, come on! James. <clears throat> what? It's Sebastian. Formula One. Is that that German driving bloke? Sebastian. Sebastian. Vettel. Sebastian Vettel. Excuse me. Are you Mr. Vettel? Yes. Sebastian, could you help us out with something? What is it? Well, we're out driving these two cars, and we're trying to decide which is the perfect car to take just for, you know, just for a drive for pleasure. And obviously, we're not going to agree, but could you be like the umpire? To help you decide? Yeah. So what are the terms, then? What well, do you want me to do? The terms are, I want, we're, we'll, each, we'll each play our case to you, and then you can be the umpire. You get final decision by getting in that car that you choose and going out for a quick drive. Okay. It's a brilliant idea. Sebastian, can I make my case for Oliver? I drove him once across the whole of Botswana, one of the first cars to drive across the Makadikadi Salt Flats to Kubu Island. Um, and, he and no issues with the car? None at all. He got shot once, but he got better, and I drove, the, uh, I drove him into a river. It. But he's better now, so it's very important to me. But let me just give you the technical briefing. There's not a lot. Um, that's where you sit, obviously. Very <laughs> really yeah. surprised. That's a steering well, yeah, wheel. Yeah, yeah, same How side. Handy. Same side as where you sit. It's very well thought out. The the speedo goes up to ninety, and it's never been past fifty five, ever. Um, but it's a happy place to be. And let me show you the heart of the matter here. This is where it all happens. The soul. This is the. There isn't a lot to talk about technically with with Oliver, but there, just under yeah. a liter, thirty nine and a half horsepower when he was brand new, it will be less than that now. The point is, if you're going out for a drive, I'm not in a race. I get it. You're trying to sell me the car, sort yeah. of. Yeah. What else does it have? Yeah. Nothing. It has a very small engine. It has a radio, I see. It does have a radio, speakers? yes. Speakers? Where are the speakers? The, 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 there's, there's some in the door. Ah, uh, yeah. I didn't think you'd be this critical. Well, I need to 
be fair in this because I need yeah. to check out the other side as well. Yeah. Not the other side of the car. Oh, but I was going to say, I thought you were the looking, other car. That's where the chrome's missing. <laughs> exactly. OK, but I, I do yeah. think, given that you are, yes, you're a Formula oh, well One done. Good Supremo, but you've got sentimentality as well. I'll, I'll take it into consideration. There's a little in that, that, that big German heart in there. Yeah, I'm going to win. I'm going to win. Look, the thing I like about a Ferrari, and I don't think any other car maker does this quite as well, it's this sort of perfect confluence of artistry and engineering. And I know you can't use a supercar to its full potential on the road, you know, everybody goes on about that, but that's not the point. The fact that it's been built, bred, if you like, by people who do competition, that's what makes it feel magical in normal use. It lends a sort of clarity to its operation. It's more defined. Nobody does it quite like Ferrari. I mean, McLaren come close, Lamborghini come close, but a Ferrari yeah, but I feel, is I magic. Don't know, I mean, now I'm employed by Ferrari, obviously. Are you? Yes. Oh. Uh, and, but before, when I sat in a Ferrari, yeah, it's just something different. I mean, I don't need to tell you about the engine because I can you can see, see it. it. Slightly more power, it's up to 597, slightly higher red lines, slightly higher compression ratio, which they can manage because of electronics controls. That's the science. The art is that tingle you get here as you go from sort of 7,500 yeah, to the red feel. line. And it's what you feel. It sort of reinvigorates your organs. It's almost That's like true. you've been for a spa or something. It's tremendous. <laughs> and the fact that it's orange... I'm with I you. Mean, well, not orange, it's red. Well, it is technically red, yes. It's rossodino. There but, you go. But it Why is... Why did you say it's orange? Well, it is orange, though. You wanted it orange. Yeah, I like orange. I was going to have a it's blue not orange. one. It is orange. It's red. That's red. Your shirt's red. That's yeah, but orange. That's just more red, but this is also red. So that's just less red, red. Yeah. Or orange, is it sometimes? <laughs> no. But look at this. Right, how I mean, this many, is... Do you use it a lot? Not really. I save it for special occasions, otherwise, it will cease to have meaning. Yeah, it's very true. We get a very different feeling to. <laughs> Hammond, what are you doing? What? Oh, my God! Where are you going? I'm running after him now. What I you're can actually doing is you're drawing, you're drawing a moustache on the Mona Lisa doing that. There's a scruffy little bloke with a dumpster in the back of the shot of the Ferrari and the world champion. Right, that's, before we get... Where are you going? That's just Gents, bad manners. Gents, like before that. we get all caught up, you asked me to help you. So, uh, to sum it up, Hammond had his character, personal touch, personal love story, African love story, and you just ran me through something that you didn't have to run me through because I know it perfectly well. It's beautiful, it's passion, it's more than four wheels and a lot of bits. Right. So which? Which one would I prefer? And you can drive. To drive? Let's do the boxing style. You stand next to me, I'm the... Okay. You, the, not referee, what are they called in the boxing ring? Uh, umpire? umpire? No, no. That's, that's tennis. In the umpire? boxing ring, it's, uh, it's, a referee. it's a referee. It's a referee. It's a referee. It's a referee. Is it a referee? And then he goes with yeah. the hands like this. OK. Yeah. And he goes... Oh, oh what? <laughs> I want to drive in that one. The winner. <laughs> the champion of the world. world. Champion, and yet it's so winner. close. He's gloating. I'm not. <laughs> uh, please. Right. World champion, if you'd oh. like to step aboard, I'm Thank very happy very to yeah, drive yeah. my car. I shall affix a small plaque to it See afterwards. You later. Could you move that? It's in the way. I'll follow. Don't bother. Were you ever actually going to go in Oliver the old Opel Cadet? Who's Oliver? You're the only other person who's driven this car. In fact, not very many other people have even been in it. Yeah, so it's a rare occasion. What a pleasure. Yeah, well, it is, but it's also making me slightly nervous. <laughs> sit quite low and you feel you know the bumps in the road you feel what the road is is doing and you just feel connected we are all hooked by you know the sensation of driving it's tremendous it's a big part of our lives but i think it's a big part of everybody's lives and that's why it's so easy to share